This is the Pro Charger system for the Ram trucks. And as you can see, there's a pretty serious pile of parts here. You got hardware, you got hoses, you've got superchargers, intercoolers, all kinds of stuff. And a lot of you guys are probably looking at this going, <laughs> ain't no way, man. Well, before you say that, let me tell you this. This system will actually add over 130 horsepower to your vehicle on pump gas with only six pounds of boost. Yeah. Now, the way that this works, basically is your supercharger compresses air to give you a more dense blast of air. The problem is when it compresses it, it gets hot. So Procharger runs it through an intercooler. This cools the air down. So you've got a nice, big, dense blast of air that runs through the hoses into the engine. Of course, when you add more air, you need to add more fuel. And that's where these new fuel injectors come in. And that's basically how this system works. Now, some of the benefits of adding a supercharger is that you can drive this thing every day and never even know it's on there until you step on the pedal. You'll still get good gas mileage until you step on the pedal. And you can get it with a five year, 100,000 mile warranty, so you know it's going to last. The best part is, though, an average gearhead can put this in in just a few hours. Here's how to do it. With a hood out of the way so you have room to work, the whole stock air intake system has got to go. Follow that with the engine cover, the belt, the grill, the coolant overflow tank, the horns, it all comes off. Okay, basically what we've done here is open up all kinds of room to fit this huge intercooler. Now, as you can see, we've got the brackets in place to mount the intercooler, and these upper brackets relocate the horns up here on top to get those out of the way, and then these lower brackets drop this power steering cooler out of the way also. So now all we have to do is bolt in the intercooler. The cooling system is the next thing to get a few modifications, and that includes installing the heater hose spout, the thermostat housing, and modifying the upper radiator hose. Finally, remember this crazy looking overflow tank? It looks like somebody's kidney. Well, we're gonna reuse this thing, but this time it's gonna mount over here on the driver's side using special brackets that come with the kit, which once again shows you how well engineered this system is. The next step is this big aluminum bracket that holds the supercharger in place. Now, as you can see, this thing is three quarters of an inch thick, so it's not gonna deflect on you. It's got all the pulleys in place. It even has its own belt adjustment system built right in. The best part is, though, this thing bolts right in place on the side of the engine. With the bracket in place, the next piece to go on is the supercharger, and it just slides into the notch of the bracket and bolts in place. Hey, we're back, and right in the middle of installing a supercharger into our new Ram Express truck to see if we can get it to live up to the legacy of the original Little Red Expresses that came out in the late 70s. The Little Red Express was a bright red step side pickup with big chrome exhaust stacks, real wood trim, and one of the fastest quarter mile times of any production vehicle at the time. However, today's muscle cars and imports are a lot faster than they were back in the 70s. But that's okay, because the new Express is a lot faster too. And with the addition of a Pro Charger, 
that's going to put the Dragon Wagon over 500 horsepower. And that's enough to peel the doors off of just about anything. Now, as you can see, we already have the supercharger and the intercooler in place. And the rest of the installation is basically just hooking up the hoses and the tubing. Those just slide into place and are held on with hose clamps. All right, as we've said before, there's a lot of air being blown into that engine now. So we have got to upgrade the fuel injectors to get our fuel system where it needs to be. Fortunately, they come with the kit. What doesn't come with the kit is a boost gauge and a fuel pressure gauge. But as you can see, Procharger's got them, and it's definitely worth spending the extra money to get a pair of these so you can monitor what's going on with your engine. The new injectors simply mount in place of the originals using the supplied hardware. While we're in here, we're going to also upgrade our coils with these high performance coils from MSD. Now, these don't come with the Procharger kit, but they're a wise investment if you want to get the most out of your ignition system. 